Hello and welcome to Our Devotions. We're together, we're developing lives with God at the center. I'm Daniel and this is my amazing wife, Amanda. Hello, today we're gonna be talking about is your faith alive? Starting off in the book of James. So grab your Bible and get ready to dive right in with us. Chapter 2, we're going to start at verse 17. And this is, there's a lot in James that we come back to on a regular basis. Yeah. There, there are a lot of verses that we quote and topics that come up here. But in James 2, 17, it says, So also, faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Hmm. And there is this, like, constant debate on theologians on where grace and where works collide yeah. and going, well, we're not saved by our works, but here we're saved by, by grace. We're saved by faith through grace. Our backwards. So, <laughs> but when, when, he, when he goes through and he's talking about this, it, there's great faith by itself is dead. Yeah. I thought mine kind of expounds on that. And it says is inoperative and ineffective. Yes, that's, that's, that's an ugly thing. <laughs> this idea that someone's faith could be inoperative and ineffective. That faith is supposed to produce action and yeah. that we're not saved by our works, but if your faith doesn't affect the way that you live, your faith is broken. Yeah. And it, it's <laughs> dead. Uh, and... As, as we look through, we find different people who had a belief but didn't want to let it ab apply to their life. In yeah. Psalms 50, verse 16, But to the wicked God says, What right have you to declare my statutes or take my covenant in your mouth? Because they wanted to recite his word without applying it. Yeah. They wanted to claim his promises without following his directions. Yeah. And, and it just gets to be this very, uh, it's really shocking and common how often People want to go, well, I believe it. And so that's enough. Mm. And I heard it, I believed it, and therefore I can now do what I want to do. But he goes through and says, hey, your faith is tested by what you do with it. Your faith is tested um, by how you treat people. And it goes through in 2.15. If a brother or sister is, is naked or destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, depart in peace and be filled and warmed, but don't give them things are, that are needed for their body. What profit is it? And again, in verse 17, he says it again. Faith by itself is dead. And then he goes on and he goes, you have faith. You say you're going to show me your faith. I will show you um, my faith by what I do. Yeah. Because you believe, good <laughs> for you, even the demons believe and shudder. Yeah. And that just like gets me going. So many people are in the same spot as the demons. Yeah. Ooh. Where they believe it, they know it, but they don't do it. And, yeah. and you're like, oh my word. How, how big is this problem? How, how far has it spread? And then you look back at Jesus' teaching and he brings it up in so many different parables that when he talks about his return, there's people who knew, who didn't apply, and who weren't ready. Yeah. There's the warning that he is coming back like a thief that comes up like seven times. Yeah. And then in his parables, he talks about the, the one he talks about these bridesmaids who were waiting for him. Five were wise and were ready. Five were not. But it started with those who were waiting. Yep. This whole group started there. And he goes, hey, but their, their life didn't reflect it. And he, he talks about those in Matthew 25 as he separates the sheep from the goats. And there's, there's those who sit here and they're like, but, but when, but why, Lord? And they call out and he says, yeah. hey, depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Yeah. And there's this idea that they knew and they thought because they knew that that was okay, but they didn't apply. They didn't live for, they did not let the faith or the belief in him become a faith in him that affected their daily life. And it's this challenge for me. It's a challenge for us to go, hey, I know it, but do I believe it? Do I apply it? Yeah. I can have, I love this idea that I can have a water bottle in my hand and I can believe that that water will save me. 
from dying of thirst. Yeah. <laughs> and I can hold that water until I die. Yeah. If I believe it, but I don't apply it, I will die. Yep. And that's where so many people are. They've been in the church and they believe it, but they haven't applied it. And I want to invite us all to be doers of the word. I want to yep. invite us all for our faith to produce action that affects our daily life. Yeah, so good. I love my verse 14 expounds and it says, a mere claim of faith is not sufficient. Genuine faith produces good works. Yeah. I love it. It's That's so good. so good. All right, let's do our confession. So repeat these out loud after me. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I don't have a spirit of fear. I don't have a spirit of fear. But of power, love, and a sound mind. But of power, love, and a sound mind. The same power. The same power. That raised Christ from the dead. That raised Christ from the dead. Lives in me. Lives in me. I am more than a conqueror through I him. I am more than a conqueror through him. God is my healer. God is my healer. And redeemer. And redeemer. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I am the righteousness of God. I am the righteousness of God. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. I resist the devil. I resist the devil. And he flees from me. And he flees from me. My prayers are powerful. My prayers are powerful. And effective. And effective. God, I thank you that we can have powerful and effective prayers, that we yes. can be doers of the word, that we can mm -hmm. be full of faith, applying your word to our life, not just hearers, but doers, not with yes. dead faith, but faith that is alive, that produces action in our life. And God, we ask that you would have your way in our homes, schools, workplaces. And God, we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. We hope that this blessed you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we invite you into God's word for yourself each day to discover who he is and what he has for you. Be blessed.